Well, this weekend, the big second annual Fiesta Jam is coming up. Going to be at Lakeside Pavilion at Marble Falls. And, uh, of course, we've got your free tickets to give away. And the headliner of the show is Texas' own Corey Morrow, who's on our phone line with us this morning. Good morning, Corey. Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing today? Well, Corey! We're doing good. good to talk to you early like this. I know how it is for you musicians. Did you play last night? Uh, I did not. Oh, okay. Did not. All right. I'm surprised because you play almost every day. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, do, I do have four little boys, so I just pretty much play every day. Oh, there you go. How old are the boys? I have a four-year-old, three-year-old, and a one-year-old twin. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my god! You got your hands full, buddy. I don't even know how you find time to play now. No kidding. That. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> uh, that's great. Well, you've been up in the area here uh, a number of times playing at different locations, and, and we're excited to have you this weekend for the second annual Fiesta Jam. And uh, for those that uh, don't know a lot about you, you were born and raised here in Texas and uh, kind of uh, become a, a, a somewhat of a Texas legend when it comes to Texas music here in the Lone Star State. Bless you, sir. Yeah, I've been uh, born and raised in Houston, Texas, and I've been in Austin for the last 20 years playing music and making making music and just uh, trying to spread some love, man. Yeah. I read something fun about you the other day, Corey. They call you the, the uh, Honky Tonk Pied Piper. Have you heard that you're called that? I heard that somewhere. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess it's because you have the um, ability to make people jump up on tables and, and boogie. Well, I don't know exactly. We, we, we encourage people at the shows to let their hair down, to put their hands up in the air, put a smile on their face, to dance and shout and scream, and move around and just enjoy themselves fully. I, I tell people you don't have to know the words to the song to enjoy yourself in the moment of the music. So <laughs> just all about, you know, just take in this uh, big beautiful thing called love and embrace it get all you need and give the rest away to the people around you yeah. I love it I feel the love right now Corey <laughs> yeah, man. yeah that's what it's all about well you're really yeah. into it and that's that's great I, my question for you is we see so much today about how the musicians and the music industry in general is struggling uh, trying to uh, get records sold uh, and I know that uh, you perform a lot and do a lot of live shows but what do you think what, what's going on with the music industry why is it that uh, it's it's got to the point where it's so hard for musicians to get their records sold around the areas well i think that uh, just the, the the nature of the of the internet the things that have been going mm. on change the way that music is just so readily available uh it's changed i think just that people look at it not like a a product but something that they uh have a right to whether it costs them anything or not so yeah it's just sort of changed the the widget you know our our widget was cds and before that cassette tapes and before that you know eight track tapes and records but now it's sort of just out there and it's available digitally and it's uh, over the airwaves. So uh, I, it's just changed everything uh, in that respect. But we, you know, we just go out and and uh, give them a, a, as good a time as we possibly can at the shows, and that's that's where we put all of our focus and energy. And uh, you know, we do have a new record out. Uh, it's been about five years since we did our last one. This new one's called The Good Fight got 15 new songs on it and awesome we're still trying to to get people to buy it and uh they seem to be uh you know accommodating us a little bit at every show but uh <laughs> I, I understand how it goes and i'm you know i just want people to have the music uh, any which way they can get it i prefer that they buy it but if they don't want to buy it man i just want them to hear it well, and, and and that uh, I knew you were going to say that because that's what it takes really to be a musician today. You got to love it. You got to love what you do, and you got to be able to uh, just appreciate the fact that when you get on stage and you're looking out in the audience and you see people singing along to your songs, <laughs> you know you're doing something right. Yeah, and, you know, business the, the the way things go is always going to change. You got to be able to just roll with the punches. You know, it's, it's the one thing that always stays the same is that everything changes. That's so, so true. Caught up in it. And I'm not caught up in it. I just, I really, honestly, have been blessed so much uh, in my life. And in the last several years, I've been able to see that so much more clearly. And now, whenever I get an opportunity to be in front of people and talk with folks, I, I just want to share the love that's been given to me and not talk about the 
stuff that I don't think is going right. I want to talk about what's going I mean, sorry, what's going wrong. I want to talk about what's going right. There, there you go. go. We're talking to Corey Morrow. He's the headliner this weekend at the second annual Fiesta Jam that's going on, and uh, we hope you're going to be there for that. Uh, growing up, I, I saw in your uh, bio that when you were 15, you picked up a guitar that your stepfather had won in a coin toss. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can you that, imagi- there's a country song right there. Yeah, yeah. Can, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, that one left to right. Yeah. I, I was just thinking uh, what your life would have been if uh, if you hadn't have gotten that guitar at the age of 15. What what do you think you'd be doing today? You know, I, I, I told my mom back when I went to college that I thought I wanted to be uh, an English teacher. That that's what she was, and uh, I really enjoyed the English language, and um, all my, my her, on her side of the family, grandparents and aunts, and, and just on up the, the family tree were all English professors and mm-hmm. English teachers. Mm. And so it was just sort of in my, my blood to, to be doing that. And I, and I love teaching, and I love kids. Just naturally have a, 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 an affinity towards the, the little ones that like to dance around and, and uh, you know, and they're thirsty for knowledge. So yeah. I, I probably would have been a teacher of some sort, maybe a goofy coach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you got those uh, those four kids. I bet they dance around when you're playing the music, too. Yeah, these guys are amazing. The little ones are so fine. When, when they're real little, the, the, you start playing the guitar, and they find that tempo. They find yeah. that tempo, uh-huh. and they just start Bending at the knees, big goofy smiles on his face, and you're just like, dude. I love it. Well, uh, all the kids are going to be there dancing in front of the stage, I'm sure, this weekend for the second annual Fiesta Jam and hearing the music of Corey Morrow. You were talking about uh, going to college. Uh, You went to Texas uh, Texas Tech uh, University in Lubbock. How's the, how's the, the team doing this year? I have no idea, man. I haven't looked up to see anything lately. <laughs> <laughs> Too busy with the music, huh? Yeah, it's either Thomas the Train on the TV or something else. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way it is with kids. Yeah. Well, I know you had a friend in college that ended up, uh, you, you and he both ended up with some pretty successful careers. Pat Green was your buddy, correct? That's right. That's right. We were uh, we met each other, actually, I think our sophomore year of college, and then about my junior year it's when I decided I was going to go for it and tried to talk him into coming with me to Austin. <laughs> he said, no, wait a minute. My dad will kill me if I quit college. <laughs> <laughs> well, my, it, parents, my parents have already written me off, so I'm, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> well, it worked out for you and Pat Green, so uh, congratulations to both of you. And again, the show, the second annual Fiesta Jam coming up this weekend, and Corey Morrow uh, is going to be there at the Lakeside Pavilion. Make your plans, get your tickets, bring the kids, uh, family fun, and a good time. Uh, if you like good Texas music, Corey Morrow, it doesn't get any better than that. We're looking forward yeah. to seeing you this weekend, buddy, and we thank you for talking to us this morning here on K-Bay. You have a good one, okay? Bless you guys. Thank you.